This is Brea Hollingsworth live for us tonight in Wake Forest, where the DOT is holding a series of design workshops. Brea. Yeah, guys, that's right. The S line would connect areas like Apex, Wake Forest, and Raleigh, and also routes outside of North Carolina. Now, these workshops are a part of a study that the DOT is doing to figure out the best locations for these rail stops, and it comes just in time as gas prices are rising. High gas prices has Andre Clark only spending a certain amount of money at the pump. I just put 50 in it be, until it goes out to figure this out because the gas is a fool. Gas prices across the country are on the rise. In Wake Forest, Jason Price told me it's making him look at other ways to get from point A to point B. Sort of go along with it and, you know, don't drive as much or we have to be more cautious as to, you know, which vehicle we're using and different places we're going because I don't get great gas mileage with my trucks. That's why he says he wouldn't mind a high-speed railway in the area. The North Carolina Department of Transportation looking to bring back a new passenger rail service called the S-Line Project. The train system would bring high-speed rail to areas like Apex, Wake Forest, and Raleigh, and also provide connections to areas like Richmond, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. I think people now are thinking about, oh, could I get around in a different way? Could I walk? Could I bike? Could I take the bus? Could I take a train? And this really shows people that that is possible for a region and hopefully will be even more in the years to come. Sherry Adams told me she's in favor of alternate forms of transportation, but doesn't know if she wants the project so close to her home. Our back door is 50 feet from the railroad tracks. We're here because obviously we're concerned about what the increased traffic on the rail line will will mean for us. With gas being the way it is, yeah, if the ticket price is right, then yeah, that'd be excellent. And the NCDOT is going to be holding a number of design workshops and open houses over the next couple of weeks. They actually have one uh, in the next 30 minutes right here at the Wake Forest Town Hall that takes place from 5.30 to 7 tonight. Of course, we've posted the full schedule of events for you in the CBS 17 News app. In Wake Forest, Freya Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. Freya, thank you very much.